In this video, we're going to take an introductory look at teacher tools. By now, you will know that you run response assessments and quizzes from within Notebook, but the management of class lists and the storage of results from quizzes is all done via teacher tools. Teacher tools is therefore the database backend to smart response. So knowing your way around it is very important. We are now going to look at what happens when you open teacher tools for the very first time. When you do this, you will be prompted to set yourself up as a new teacher within Smart Response, and the system will create you a new gradebook where results from all of your classes will be stored. Here is the first page. The only required information is your last name and the name of the classroom. The name of the classroom is very important as the handsets will scan for classes and it is this name which will appear as a class students can join. Therefore, you need to make the name distinctive. When you click save, you'll be asked where the file should be saved to. The file being created is a smart response teacher file, so it has the suffix dot teacher. You only need one of these, however many classes you teach, as it can store data from multiple classes. Every time you run response, you will need to be able to open this file. So if you move classrooms, storing it on a network drive is a good idea. I am doing something similar here and storing it in Google Drive so I can access it from any computer. When your file is saved, your gradebook is opened and you are ready to start adding classes.